you knew that you wanted to have a podcast, but one of the things that kind of held you back is that the business was developing on your your final niche and mm-hmm. it was maybe like you weren't sure if the timing was going to be right to to launch a podcast because you weren't sure if the business was going to be like always doing that is that kind of right well you know when you when you're starting off on any new business it's it's websites and business cards and meeting people and and just really t- so in our business it's telling people what we do we're not selling anything we're offering people an opportunity because real estate generally has a marketing problem. Everyone knows about the 401k and stock market, and mutual funds, but not many people know about real estate syndication and how powerful it could be for your real estate portfolio and your portfolio in general. So that took a while for us to really get our business off the ground. And um, when it comes to the podcast, I think that if I would have found the podcast on podcasting a lot sooner, we would have, you know, like uh, we would have collapsed our time frames on learning about podcasts. And I guess the the kind of the fear of the unknown, the limiting beliefs of hey, other people do podcasts, really kind of permeated in our thoughts. But once we kind of get over that, we got our business settled. We're capital raisers. We're licensed. We joined a broker dealer. Once we got those things settled for our, 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 basically our day job, we wanted to really, really dive into the podcast. So I guess it was more having the time to really understand what we were doing. <laughs>